let's place a line in the non-destructive overlay using iMac overlay line VI. Look under vision and motion, vision utilities, and then the overlay sub palette. And here we have iMac overlay line. Let's see what we have in terms of terminals to work with. The main inputs would be the image itself and then the start point and the end point for the line. You can also manipulate the color of the line. I'm going to be placing this line in my original webcam image. And I'm going to create a constant here for the color. You see that it's defaulting to red. Simply click on that little square and you can pick out any of these colors. And you can also select custom colors if you look in the lower right corner. I'll create a constant for the start point. It's a default of 0, 0 for X and Y, and that would be in the upper left corner. We have a cluster, again, two values. X is the first one, and then Y would be the second value in that cluster. As an example, let me place the starting point of the line at X is 10 pixels and Y is 20 pixels. For simplicity then, I will do a control drag on that one, left mouse click, and make a copy of that cluster and change its values to 40 and 30. So now we have a diagonal line being placed into the non-destructive overlay. Now that's pretty straightforward. Uh, let me show you a second technique for doing this. And this works well, especially if you're trying to get a little better sense of which value is what. That is, if you're trying to see which is the X value and which is the Y value. In this case, I'm using the cluster with zero, zero coordinate just to define the cluster elements themselves. And then you could connect in whatever values you'd like for X and Y.